Okay, I'm going to show how to work with GoPro 240 frame per second. Oops. So I go here on my uh, hard drive, Superhero, and I create a new event. Okay, so that's my event. 240 FPS. So that's how I call this thing. Then I'm going to import media from a camera. Here is the Hero 3 Plus. And I have two movies on there. I take the first one here. And I could select now what I want exactly. What I want to import. And how much? Let's do this. I don't have to import so much here. Let's say I import 5 seconds of footage. And then I say import selected. Now, I do not want to create optimized video or anything. I leave it as it is and I add it to the event I just created. And then I can see here how fast that happens. It is done already, okay? Now, on my hard drive superhero here, I'm going to create a new project. And my new project will be to for the FPS test project. I am going uh, to take this from the 240 FPS event here. And I don't base it on the first video clip because I have 240 frames per second. I want something with 30 frames per second. And I do then 720p, 1280 by 720. Knowing that my footage is smaller than this. Okay, put this in here. Now I have a new project. I can now take my footage and put this in here. If I play back, I will drop frames probably. And I only play five seconds. Right? <coughs> so this is my five second movie. And uh, let's see where this starts. Here's where the water comes, right? In this last moment. Okay. So I'm going to cut here, right? Let's do that. I could have done this in the event you are. I could have done this up here, so that I pick the area I want and then import. Okay, so now I have this, and then I'm going to go to the retiming button here and say confirm speed. That puts frame to frame. And I have all 240 frames per second spread out, where I only show 30 uh, at a time, and per second, right? And now I can play this. And then you see how this shows up in super slow motion. So far, so far now I didn't lose frames, right? So I put all the frames out. I uh, I created the 240. Now what I can do, I can slow this down half to six percent to make like a 15 frame per second movie. So we could do this in copying this whole thing. What just happened? Here, oops. Where is it? There it is. So this thing now here has a timing thing. Of twelve percent. Let me click it and send. So I could spread this out until I show 6%. There. That would bring me into an area of uh, 15 frames per second. So it's even slower than the first one. So now I don't have enough frames to fill up my 30, right? Okay. You can see later if that makes any difference. 
what we can do now too is also um, check here the video quality and do like an optical flow or frame blending in here let's see how that works So, but this is basically how you do it. So here in the beginning, this is the real footage, the 240 frames per second played at 30 frames per second. Very nice, nice slow motion. And then the only thing I have to do is I have to export this, share this to YouTube or whatever in the format I need. I can do this here and say send to compressor and uh, here I go this far I do not want to serve it there I want to put it there and then just submit I don't want 1080p I want 720 So I have 720 for YouTube here, and then let's submit this to party test, submit, and then I convert it with compressor. Yeah, needs a minute, but when it's done, uh, it will look nice, All right? Well then, I thank you guys for watching, and I attach the footage I just made after this. Alright, have fun.